Hello all and welcome to another video in the Write Your First Piece of Music in 14 Step Series. In this step we're going to look at um, editing beams and note properties. Um, this is an important process like if you wanted to actually uh, prepare your score for publishing this would be an essential step in doing that. Um, right now I have zoomed in front of me um, the current score that I've been working on for the past couple days and we're going to go through some of the beam and note head properties um, in MuseScore. Uh, let's see, first one, if you look over here, if you look over here, you're going to see broken beams. Th that goes with this tool over here, beam 32nd subdivide, or beam 16th subdivide, these notes are all subdivided out. And you could see how you could easily put different beams on, on here. If you wanted to do a feathered beam, which is a rather fancy beaming technique, you could just select the the beams that you have and drag this feathered beam over here and see how it feathers the beam going a certain way it feathers it going to the left you can also go like this you can go control Z to to erase it and go back to your normal beams if you wanted to go to the right, flag out to the right, you could put it here. Sometimes you have to do it more than once to get it to, to go. You have to make sure it's right on the tip of the highlighted beam for it to go. And that's the main thing with Muse scores. Sometimes you have to be right on the note head or right on the beam. Or right on the tip of the note head or the beam in order to get it to do what you want and sometimes it's a bit of a challenge but it does look pretty cool see I have another one over here that I did right there um, we also did subdivisions you can actually go in and do subdivisions of your notes and this one you want to make sure you've got the note selected and then select this. Try to select your beam. And it subdivides. But say you don't want it subdivided, you can always go to the tool that says regular beam. And You just go take this over here, make sure your make sure your beams are selected before you do this. Going to get off of note input entry. Feathered and let's try it again. not feathered. If it doesn't work, you could actually do control Z or command Z to put it back. Sometimes you have to really work with this to get it to to do what you want. And if you wanted to feather it the right to the right, just click the feather beam tool that goes to the right and click on the note head. Then if you want it to go back, Just Command Z. And one tip that you may need for this is some of those commands in the beaming center and the note head center on MuseScore. You have to play with it a little bit, and some of the 
the expressions like the beam tool and the not beam tool. Some of those require you to make sure you click on the note to make sure they're highlighted blue. And some of them you have to make sure the beam gets highlighted. Um, that's what I've learned since I've been using MuseScore for a while now. Like for instance, if you don't want something beamed, let's say it's already beamed and you don't want it to be beamed, like the no beam tool, you're going to select the no beam tool and you're going to go to the note head of the first note or even the second. And you can unbeam those one or two notes, um, but you have to click on the note head itself and not the beam. Um, if you want a flag to the right for a beam, again, you would click the beam tool or click the feather right beam tool and go and drag it to the beam of the notes that you want to select and make sure that's blue and then let off and then it will automatically do it for you. Um, and if you change your mind and you don't want it, uh, the quickest way is to just Command Z the whole thing and it'll come back to the way it was supposed to be. Um, another thing we have are note heads. If you look at the xylophone part which is xylophone and tubular bell part which is right here you'll see that I have already made some different note heads here and all I've done was go like this make sure the note heads blue and then they turn they turn the note heads once I let go of the highlighted blue note heads and they change to diamonds or they change to X's or whatever you want. Um, this is perfect for handbell music and hymnals and all that other stuff. Um, but one thing is you have to be patient with it and you have to make sure it's highlighted before you let go, otherwise it won't work. Um, so that is how to put different note heads and beaming tools on your music so that it will look more like you want it, look more professional. And in the next video we will be discussing typing in lyrics if you have them. So please make sure to stay tuned for that. If you have any questions please Q&A me in the Q&A section and I'll see you in the next video.